have a very special guest at, as we're still with my ongoing Miss Universe Philippines live chat series. So for tonight, let's talk to another beautiful woman. You know, she she may have charmed us with her beauty and winsome smile a few years ago, but now she's winning us over again with her newfound maturity and character. And after taking a four-year break from the pageant scene, She's now back with a she's now back with a vengeance, and we're closely monitoring her next beauty move. Of all places, Dito sa Miss Universe Philippines. So, without further ado, let's all welcome her. Please say hello to Miss Universe Philippines Albay 2021, Janela Quaton. Hi, Janela. Hi, Adam. Good evening, and good evening to everyone who's watching right now. Gabi yung introduction na kaka pressure. Para na yung matasa. Man, you deserve it, man. No. <laughs> no, no, but seriously, you know, um, you know, the first time I met you was four years ago in a national pageant, and look at you now, four years after. Talagang yeah. We can really see the difference talaga, yung confident mo, yung maturity mo. It's very evident. So, how do you about it? Na, alam mo yun, nagmamarka ngayon. You basically, you know, acing all these online challenges of Miss Universe Philippines. You know, um, honestly, nung unang parts ng challenges, syempre I couldn't make it to the top 15 kasi nga part of the challenge is online voting. And then my team was getting disheartened. So because sa kanila, it's okay. You know, every time we put out all these videos, I'm proud of what we do. Because it makes me feel good. Before before these all go out, I make sure I watch it a hundred times over. I make sure that I feel good about every second of, of those videos. And I know that I don't need the validation of other people to feel, to have that winning feeling with my videos. And um, ayan yung isa sa naging motivation ko na if I feel good about my videos, my team should not feel less about the work that they've put on. Kasi feeling ko for me, masaya na ako. I'm happy and I'm not even trying to compare kung ano yung ginawa namin from other people. And isa naman yun sa mga mag-guarantee ko sa mga tao na niniwala sa akin na from here onwards, I, can, I will only put out videos, materials that are in line with my standards. Nanini bago ka ba right now? Kasi, you know what, syempre, before, eh, ito, mga ginagawa nyo ngayon, puro online, puro video. So far, have you been... Honestly, marami, marami akong pinagnilibaguhan. So, first of all, the online challenges. No una, hindi, hindi ka prerequisite na sikat ka sa social media, madami kang followings. And it's a naging challenge for me because during those four years that I was out of pageantry, I wasn't active on social media. Be people barely knew anything about me. And um, now that I'm trying to come back, it's like I have to open myself to everyone. And it's a an uncomfortable feeling for me because I like to be, I like to live a private life. I like, I like the mystery effect. So it's a naging challenge for me coming into this competition. And then another thing is um, we're in a pandemic right now. So, of course, it's different. There's a lot of things that I have to adapt to. Before, yung swimsuit, yung national costume, you go in there, aayusin ka ng glam team na sponsored ng, na ini-sponsor yung organization. But now, you have to get your own team. You have to make your own videos. You need to put in your creative effort. I mean, there's also advantages to that. But I think it's yung sinaging malaking um, challenge for me. Kasi nasanay ako na with all the pageants that I did, pupunta na lang ako, uupo ako sa upuan, aayos na nila ako, nakaset na lahat. It required less thinking. And with this challenge ngayon sa Miss Universe Philippines and all those... Um, video challenges, mas na full force ako to put in, of course, my creative side and yung, yung, yung um, opinion ko sa mga bagay, which is before hindi ko nagagawa kasi nga meron na nakaset na ideas. So that means why 
yung na parang feeling ko na wala kasi di ba as parang like everyone thought you would win and then win parang lara ko naglahong bigla na parang bula para alam mo yun sana si Janela parang hindi ka na naparamdam hindi ka na namin naramdaman di ba at alam mo hmm. kung kailan ka na lang kita na unting naramdaman last year hindi ito sa Miss last Universe year? Philippines kasi sumasali si Amanda Obdam for Miss Universe Thailand because I got a chance to interview her and I was researching materials about her I st- upon her with you you both compete ah? in an, in an international pageant a few years ago Sabi yes ko, it's with amanda first of all she is beautiful si amanda yung type ng girl na kapag nakita mo mapapalinon ka talaga yung ganun yung ganda niya and she would she came out very prepared during that time um i believe she did miss grand before coming into miss um Tourism Metropolitan, and she deserved that win, you know. I have no hard feelings against Amanda. I'm very great friends with her, and of course, Valerie of Indonesia. We were best friends, and um, I'm happy for what she achieved during Miss Universe. Grabe, grabe yung fashion forwardness nung gown niya, nung wardrobe niya, the preparation. It was also the same thing when I did Miss Tourism Metropolitan with her and i've learned a lot of things from amanda coming into miss universe philippines now i will take some of the things that she embodied during that time which is preparedness being um learning how to adapt because during that time we were in cambodia a country she's never been to and so that the time um ang galing niya lang makipag makipag-usap sa ibang tao the way how like her energy is very vibrant and yun yun napansin ko sa kanya and, I, and, and isa yun sa naging advantage ni Amanda. She's just confident, you know, comfortable with everyone that she meets. So in a way ba, what did she inspire for your pageant comeback here in MUP? She did. Um, you know, when I saw her last year in that Miss Universe um, stage, sabi ko, wow, I can, I can also do that. Um, I've shared the stage with Amanda before, and I know that I can also shine um, just, as, just as how she did and try to shine even brighter, you know? And another reason to why I did this because of Rabia. They were both phenomenal women who inspired me, and I know a lot of girls do. With all those 100 girls coming into Miss Universe, I know that Silang Dalawa is malaking inspiration sa pagsali namin sa Miss Universe. Wow, for sure kung naririnig ka nila, kung malaman nila na itong interview natin matutuwa sila. Kasi you know, talagang hindi rin nila maris yung reach nila in terms of inspiring their fellow women in reaching for their dreams. So, Janela, you heard about earlier na, you know, ano mong ginawa mo in those four years na nawala ka sa limelight? Parang feeling ko... Ibang, yung, yung mga ginawa mong yun in those four years na nawala ka contributed to that ano, glow or newfound confidence that we are seeing overall sa'yo? You know, um, one of the reasons why I took a break of social, from social media during the time is first, I lost I, I, I didn't really win Miss, Univ- uh, Miss World Philippines that time. And so in a way that broke me. And three days after the competition, my mom had an issue with her work and she had to leave. And then we didn't know where to get um, support financially. It was a struggle for us. And so I knew that I couldn't afford to give myself to social media. So I invested all my time and energy to my family because I knew that time she, they needed me. And I was lucky that um, I became really good friends with Maggie Wilson, Kunsunhi. Um, she trained me for Miss World Philippines. That's how our friendship started. And she's best friends with Parul. And during that time, I didn't have work. I wasn't doing anything. And so Maggie told me that, um, hey, babe, you want? I want to start this um, this furniture store. I have this concept. We're going to get all these items from Bali, sell it here in the Philippines. And then um, I oh she was the one who paid for my tuition fee in um, sofa actually. So Maggie told me that, 
hey babe, I, I'll also send you to school. She did. She sent me to school. Um, and then you can live in our house for free just so you can work. Um, you, you, you can give your you can give your all to the work. And so that's what I did. And after doing after studying interior design in Sofa, working in um in Casa, I was I also became good friends with Kuya Victor, Konsunhi, Maggie's husband. So Kuya Vic is into triathlon, extreme sports, and I lived in their house. So in the morning he would wake me up. Like literally mga ano, 4 a.m. He would make wake me up at 4 a.m. to train with him, run, swim, um, and then work out with him at night before going to bed. Although he would feed me, but then grabi yung pagod. We would work out six hours a day. And then Kuyavik also got trainers for me. Oh, so but it, that's oh. Sobrang bait nila. I, I honestly have been blessed to meet really great people in my life. Um, and then Kuya Vic personally hired a trainer for me for different coaches for train, for running, for swimming, and for bike. And so ikaw, di ba, kung may ganyan kang opportunities, bakit hindi mo ikagrab and hindi bigay yung all mo? So ganun yung ginawa ko. That's how I started with Spartan, with Ironman. And so really during those last four years, pinakamalaking inspiration sa akin and um yung yung naging reason bakit nangyari yung mga bagay na yun is because of Maggie and Kuya Victor. Ang bait talaga. Literal na kang inampon nila. Yes. So kasi si Maggie, again si Parul would travel to Bali to source and do everything. Ako, I'll be left here in the Philippines to manage the store, manage our projects and at the same time, I Maggie was always away for work. Kuya Victor was busy. Ako yung naging parang mayor doma ng bahay nila. <laughs> So, ako yung nagmamanage ng bahay nila. Ako yung tumitingin ng lahat ng nangyayari. I would, I would tell them. Connor was there to their son. So, I would go to Connor sa school. Sabi kami papasok kasi on the way lang. So, really, sobrang bait nila. And I think that's one of the reasons bakit blessed din yung mag-asawa. Kasi grabe sila mag-invest sa mga tao na nakikita nila ng potential. Okay. You know, I can relate with you. Because I am, I was also, you know, I was also, I also got to experience the rosary of the Sundays. Uh, mm-hmm. Back when Maggie but would be for Amazing Race Asia, um, I was still, you know, I was still an ordinary pageant fan then, and they invited me over to their house to sa para masilang pa viewing party sa bahay nila. Natuwa mm-hmm. ako, di ba? Considering na yun, no, Maggie doesn't dream and snow her showbiz and the pageant industries but yeah ang bait talaga nila so yeah i can relate Sobrang with bait. you nung sinabi mo parang literally inandap ka nila so how have you been working on them uh since 2018 so four years na actually i only was in casa for one year um i had to leave casa because my stepdad got sick and my mom, she works 24-7, like literally 24-7. And um, she couldn't afford to get out of work and take care of my dad or else hindi niya rin magkagawa yung responsibility niya as a mom to provide and then sa asawa niya. So naging struggle for my mom and I had my siblings were studying, my ate, she was working. And ako at that time, I was flexible. I could still travel and um, I've devoted part of my life to so Maggie told me, baby, it's okay, you can go work. I can go take care of your dad. And so I did, but it lasted for three months. And so I told Maggie, babe, I think I'm being unfair already. So I left Casa Kunsunhi after one year. But I am still good friends with Maggie. I still sometimes go to the store. I offer in however I can help her sa bahay ngayon or even sa sa store. Ay, malaki yung utang na loob ko sa kanila and marunong akong tumanaw nun. So, mahalay mo, whatever happens, uh, your MUP journey bumalik. Yes, actually, um, so ngayon, right now, I'm I'm studying again interior design um, sa New York Institute of Arts and Design. It's a certificate course. But then I'm I'm planning to reside here in the U.S. and work here professionally as an interior designer. 
uh, my boyfriend Daryl. I don't know if you've seen him in my social media accounts, but then he owns um, a yes, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am proud of him. He owns a brokerage firm here and he also flips houses. And so, marami siyang empty canvases and then and dami niyang projects and I know that I can help him with that. So, kaya isa yun sa reason bakit ko pinursu again yung interior design. And I've lo- I loved it, you know. I I, could, I I saw myself growing growing while I was doing that with Maggie and with Casa Consumi. Interior design for small. First take up mo nung, nung 2018 in preparation for Casa Kasunhi. Was your first? Was your second course? No, actually. Parang second no, college I mean, degree. Parang ganon. Actually, hindi pa ako nakakagraduate ng college. Um, I started college in 2015. I was studying internal auditing, but then um, I did mutya. And I won. That was for a year, and I devoted my whole life to Mutya and to my international pageant. And I never got the chance to study again after that. That's why, um, when Maggie offered to put me to school, I grabbed the chance. And then every time, and dami nangyari in my life. But you know, I don't have any regrets. I felt like every year I'm growing. Every year I'm getting new skill sets. Um, And then, hindi ako wasteful with my time. So even though I didn't finish grad, uh, uh, college, wala akong degree, I can say marami akong certificate courses. And I'm, um, I can say, ako na magsasabi nun, marami akong talents and skills, skill sets na magagamit ko in my life. And forever, constantly, I'm seeking knowledge through reading, through meeting new people, and, and digesting all of that and understanding that. Wow. Wow, that's inspiration right there. I mean, wow, de ba? Kami mo ginawa. Do you think everything that you did in those four, four years had something like in terms of how your parents raised you to become a phenomenal woman that you are right now? Oh, my mom will be happy to hear this, even my dad. But you know, um, I think one of the main reasons why I always take responsibility with the things that I do, I have such good time management, I respect people, is because. At the age of eight years old, my mom left to work abroad, and I had to take on her role as a mom, and in a way, like as a wife to my dad, by making sure his meals are prepared, by making sure his his uniform is ironed with my siblings, cooking for them, cleaning the house, literally doing everything that a mother would do. I had to take on that role. We couldn't afford help during that time, so I was forced. To mature at the age of eight years old, and wala akong hard feelings towards my mom, my parents. I'm so grateful because right now I know that all these people are attracted to me because of those qualities. And then you know, also when I was 14, I worked as a model in Qatar, and during that time, si Mama pinush niya talaga ako na maging respectful sa oras ng ibang tao. Hindi ka pwedeng malate pag nalate ako kahit one minute in any of my events. Sinabi niya sa akin, you cannot, you cannot do this again. I was an honor student during that time. So sabi niya, if, if my one time lang, my one quarter na hindi ka mag-top one, ay hindi ka maging part ng top ten. Um, anong tawag nito? Ititigil na natin yung modeling mo. But I was consist- consistently a top one student during, during my time when I was in class. And so that made my mom very proud. And then in her household, you know, We're super competitive. I compete with my siblings in terms of who who folded the clothes better, who um who cleaned the room better. With my mom, who made the best meals. Sino nagluto ng mas masarap na sinigang? And I think all those experiences in my life led to who I am now. As you said, phenomenal woman that I am. Yes, I'm owning it. <laughs> Alam mo, sa totoo lang, to be honest with you, akala ko nga hindi ka nababalik sa pageantry eh. Kasi when I stumbled upon when I stumbled upon your Instagram like last year as I was researching my tips nga for Amanda's interview, sabi ko, ay, si girl, puro pa jet, ano na lang, puro pa, ang tawag doon pa, jet plane na lang ng pa jet plane, travel ng travel. Wow, she's living a cosmopolitan lifestyle. Mayaman si boyfriend. para sabi ko, hindi na yan siya babalik and low and low, may ka na. You know, Adam, you mentioned something and I want to clear this out. 
um, I uh, most of the re- one of the main reasons why I'm able to experience all those is because of the women in my life. My mom, um, uh, old Maggie first, and my mom. My mom, she worked for this incredibly amazing woman, a woman who, who, yung alam mo yun, walang kahit konting damot sa katawan, and lahat ng meron siya, she nerin niya sa akin, sa family ko, even with my boyfriend. That's one of the main reasons why I was able to stay in all those lavish apartments, um, fly private. It's because of my mom's um, previous employer. She just passed away. Her name is Joyce. Um, and that's one of the main reasons. Uh, but, you know, I'm so lucky then. She did. But she, you know, she will forever live in my heart. She has impacted me in a way that no one will ever understand. She she made sure that I'm safe, that my future is secured, and I will forever be grateful. And alam mo yun, it's, she's also one of the main reasons why I got very close to my boyfriend. Um, during the pandemic, I had to stick with her because my mom was working 24-7 with her, so I had to stay in her house as well. And she let, I was only dating Daryl at the time, and she let Daryl fly over in Hawaii to be with me for just a few days. That's how I got closer. And, you know, I'm just I'm incredibly, incredibly grateful and just so lucky with all these people that I meet. Because even see si Daryl, he's successful and accomplished on his own. I mentioned earlier, he has his um his own businesses and he flies private too, but I've never experienced that. Like, uh, the things that I've experienced is because of Joyce. And I just want to give the proper credit to the right people. You know, tutuwa yung mom mo ngayon. Hi, Tita. Hi, Tita. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. So, um, so anong reaction niya nung, nung ito na nga, sasali ka na nga ulit? Ito, may question dito si Arvin Aligado. Sabi niya, you know, kasi after four years of hiatus in Philippine pageantry, Diba? What made you decide to give pageant another try? You know, I can give you a lot of reasons, and I really am moving with a lot of reasons. Um, so one of one of them is um, my boyfriend Daryl. He told me that, um, babe, I really think you can do it. I have so much faith in you. And for a while, he kept on bugging me, like, no, you should do it one more th- one more time. Because for me, honestly. Si inam ko na siya, gusto ko na sana mag-move on with a different um mag-move on sa ibang aspect ng buhay ko professionally. And so I thought about it and I gave it a, and then sabi ko, pinag-isipan ko. I did my research. Um I I in inano ko sa sarili ko na if I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this for myself. Hindi dahil sa sinabi niya, sinabi ng mama ko, but because I want it. And so I did my research on Miss Universe Philippines, how they did the pageant last year, how they were over how they were able to overcome all these challenges and sabi ko na this is an, an organization that I'm willing to work with. And so I'm going to go forward with it and me being here in Miss Universe Philippines is a decision of mine because I know that I can do it. I believe in myself and the people around me believe believe in me too. And then the other reason is that I don't want to have any regrets in my life. Um, ever since I was young, it's a dream of mine to become a beauty queen. And if I can pursue it now, I'd rather do it. I'm young. I'm only 24. I have a very good background. Mabait naman akong bata. Um, I've, I've lived with so much purpose in my life and I want to share that purpose with everyone. So what is that purpose? Um, you know, Adam, hindi ko alam if you're familiar, but ever since I was 15, I've been doing a lot of charity works. I've been, I, I've, I did my best to share all my blessings with the people that I meet na alam ko rin nangangailangan. But then, and then that will still continue to be a part of my life. Because it, it, it gives me some sort of self, uh, sense of fulfillment. But coming into Miss Universe, I want to make it simple. I just want people to start believing in themselves. And to start and to, to create this awareness of who they are and what they want, what they like, what they don't like. Most of us come, most of us, one reason why we experience mental health, why we don't achieve the things that we want in life, 
why things are not going uh, in the direction of how we want it is because of we don't have enough self-awareness. And I'm speaking from experience when I say, why was I not successful in all my endeavors when I, four years ago, it's because I didn't know who I was. And right now coming into Miss Universe, I want to emphasize the importance of self-awareness, of knowing who you are and what you want, just so you can move on forward with life, just more inspired, with more direction, with more clarity. I just really want to keep it simple this time. And how I'm going to do that, um, of course, through social media, which I'm still trying to find my way through. As you know, I'm not very good with social media. Um, I have help from different people. I, I've been getting help from different people too. I will be releasing a vlog, interviewing very inspirational people. And that's something that people should watch out for. Yeah, me included. Paano yan? Paano yun, Janela? Sa past veteran. So you talk about social media and you not still getting used to it because, you know, you said earlier you're a private person. So how do you handle the intense scrutiny of the media and fans right now about you? You know, that, that's the best thing about... Um, it, it's not that I, I... Let me correct myself. It's not that I don't know how to manage my way through social media. I don't spend enough time. It's not a priority for me. I don't go on social media and spend hours. Sometimes I feel upset. You know, in the iPhone, it would show you um, a screen, screen like a screen um, update on how, how many percentage you used it in a week. I get upset when I see that my yes, yes. usage went up when my usage went up. So I always make the conscious effort to bring it down. Um, and then I think I'm lucky in the sense that I don't spend enough time on social media to read everyone's comments. And like I said earlier, it's important that you know who you are and what you want and what's important to you. That when you see comments like, you know, mga very hateful comments, I mean, I'm sorry to say this. Minsa na tatawa na lang ako sa mga comments na naririnig ko, sa mga balita na sinasabi ng ibang tao. Kasi I know that's not who I am. I know there's no truth to what they're saying, and they're saying it out of, you know, may 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 yung yung they're saying it out of out of hate and without any awareness of really who I am. That to me, it almost sounds like a joke. That's how I see the bashings that I get. Uh, like, cause the, not that I read them. It's just that my mom sometimes would tell me, "Oi, anak, sinabi nila ganito." My my aunties, my my siblings would tell me kung ano yung mga comments na sinasabi sa akin. And sa alam mo yun, sabay na lang namin pinatatawanan. At the end of the day, if you let these things eat you up, ang dami mo nang iniisip. Wala kang magagawa. And so for me, like I said earlier, I don't waste my time. So I don't go on social media reading everyone's comments. But let me let me make myself clear. I do appreciate all the great comments, the support that I've been getting from everyone who constantly believes in me, everyone who invests time in me, you know. Yung pag-share lang nila. Even, even you, Adam, thank you so much for making those edits, making time for this interview. To every, alam mo yun? You invest enough time in me, and ako, I'm eternally grateful for that. Maybe hindi ko siya napapakita enough by by commenting on each comment or liking every comment, reacting. But just please know that I am eternally grateful to all of it. And kung, kung kaya ko lang po ibibigay ko yung sarili ko sa inyong lahat, it's just that I know may mga bagay na mas kailangan yung attention ko sa panahon na to. Uh, well, Janela, I can't stress enough how you have completely changed. You know, it's really a different Janela that we are seeing right now. So there's a question here um, in relation to... I love Janela Joy Quaton. Um, Jan Nino is asking, here's my question to you. Because, you know, you've been away for quite some time mm -hmm. as you've been you know, feeling again a life, you know, a life full of experience. Ah, a life full of experience. So, what do you think is the most important in life? Experience or education? 
All the best, love, and see you soon. Hi, John. So, I love John. He is also one of the people na alam mo, since 2015, nagsusupport sa akin. So, hi, John. Thank you for this question. So, for me, education is also knowledge. And when you seek experiences in your life, you gain knowledge. And so, in a way, they both go hand in hand. And if you're gonna ask me what's the most important, it's experience. Um, there are things that being in school will not teach you and I know that I'm successful I'm successful in a way right now that I am able to experience all these things in life because I valued every experience that I went through during my whole 24 years in this universe and that is what being in school being educated in school will not give me ah uh... Oh, that's, that's really nice. Ang ganda ng sagot mo doon. Ang ganda ng sagot mo doon. So, you know, um, Thank you. Ito na lang talaga eh. Who would, would you, who would you say is a good role model for a lot of, we, for a lot of young women that they should look up to? Kasi let's face it, ang tagline ng Miss Universe is inspire you. Diba? So, you know, and talking to you right now, I feel like you are really inspiring us talaga to, to live our full lives to the best versions of ourselves. So who do you think is a good role model for all these young women to look up to? You know, this is going, hmm, this is going to be a very mind-boggling answer. But um, the reason why I want to say this is because you see all these women in social media, but you don't really know who they are. And sometimes they commit mistakes and you get um, you get heartbroken that you looked up to them for such a long time. And they they make a little action and alam mo yan, everything is shattered into pieces. And so for me, if, if, if you can use your faculty of imagination, one good role model that I have is me five, ten years from now. That's what keeps me motivated. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps me positive in everything that I do. And so my good role model is someone, is a Janela who is successful, who is kind, who is thoughtful, who's done a lot of great works during her whole life, who's committed to, 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 to elevating the people that she meets. And alam mo yun, and, and by thinking that I go through on with my day, embodying all of those things and so i know you've never heard of this answer before but um imagine yourself like a good the best role model would be you or yourself five ten years from now because you can conceptualize the, that perfectness that you seek from that you try to find from other people and who knows five ten years from now you will be that exact same woman that you've pictured in your head, you know? Grabe. Grabe. Parang, ang dami mo lang sa tanong How do you see yourself 10 years from now? Who do you want to be? Uh, who do, which role model would you look up to? Diba? So, wow. So, ito na lang talaga. As my last, you know, I could, I could still go on and on <laughs> talking to you, but we're, I'm under mm -hmm. constraint right now. It's so, okay. Can you give a message to all those women like you who got so affected by this pandemic? And how do you think they can turn these setbacks brought by, the, by this pandemic to something productive and eventually purposeful that will lead to your rebound in life? So I've always taught myself to the during those four years, I taught myself how to look at things in a very positive manner. And during the pandemic, sometimes I feel bad saying this, the pandemic was the greatest year of my life. Why? I've 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 invested that time in learning new skill sets. I I had two Harvard I gained two Harvard courses during the pandemic. I started my new course with uh, New York Institute of Arts and Design. I've met very inspirational people and I've 
I, I try to digest everything that I've learned from them. When I'm at home, I'm cleaning, working on my skills as a, you know, a wife. <laughs> um, and then I've also taught myself how to work on my cooking skills. And I can say that I'm, I'm very good at it. And you want to use this time, the pandemic, if you're at home, if you, if you were, um, if, if you lost your job, you want to use this time to invest it in yourself so you can come out of this pandemic as a better you. For me, that was a goal of mine. I wanted to come out of this pandemic as a better Janela, better shape, better mindset, better goals. Everything is just, 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 just on top, you know? And um, you just, just, yeah, see things with, 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 um, with a very positive mindset. Because at the end of the day, you have more to lose if you let all these challenges eat you up. You have more to lose if you if you just wallow, wallow in pain, wallow in sadness that these things happen to you. Because for me, I got stuck here and I got stuck in America. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know I didn't have any of my friends, but I used that time to be with my family, be present with my cousins who I've never spent any time with. Um, and then yeah, just make just make sure that you use this time wisely. We will never know when we'll have two two years off of work, be at home, be with everyone. So you want to make sure that you come out of this pandemic a better you. Uh, and on that note, thank you so much, Janelle. I'm learning so much from your experience. There's just so much wisdom that we you're sharing to us or importing to us right now that wow i hope our viewers are paying you know are taking down you know paying attention or taking down notes about it so janelle and you, pa rin fashion sayo. so yeah but yeah thank you so much thank you for allowing me to take a peek <laughs> into your mm -hmm. life right now know that you are really an inspirational woman you know thank so iniisip ko nga parang lahat ng mga pinagdaanan mo you know, feeling ko lahat yon parang blessing in disguise. Yes, I would say. Para that. dito. Diba? So the lessons that you learned from your previous pageant experiences have really contributed to who you are right now as the Janela Quaton vying for the Miss Universe Philippines crown this yeah. year. So Thank you. I can't wait. Um, so before we end, can we give a shout out to a lot of people? People who are tuned in, um, 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 go Janela, sabi ni Joey. Go Janela, all out ang support namin sa yo, sabi ni Jola Bula. Thank you, yeah. Ma so, Laban Universe, Laban, Laban Universe, go fight for. Go fight, win, love, Janela Quaton, Jan Pasca is saying again. So, yeah, and dami nagbamahal you. sayo dito sa comment section. So, beauty and brain, sabi ni John Garcia. Beauty and brain, Miss Janela Quaton, God bless you. So, uh, I hate to end this interview very quick, but that's the time that I was allotted to us <coughs> right now. I'm grateful for this opportunity, Janela. It was so nice to catch to catch up with you four years after we last saw each other. So stay safe and hydrated, Janelle. I can't wait to see you soon. Hopefully, I can see you. Yes, definitely. And Adam, I also would like to take this time to thank everyone na hanggang ngayon po nagsusuporta sa akin ever since 2015 and ngayon nag-grow yung fanbase ko. Maraming salamat po. Just know na, especially with Miss Universe Philippines edition this year, yung support po na binibigay nyo is malaking tulong para sa pagkuha ng corona ng Miss Universe. And Adam, thank you so much for investing time in me as well. I took 41 minutes of your life and just know that you asking me these questions mas na mas na e emulate sa akin yung mga bagay na pinagdaanan ko before and I'm reminded now of why I am here and you're adding value to me too and so thank you so much. Ah, uh, 
these 41 minutes are <laughs> well spent, no doubt. Marami kaming nagmamahal sa iyo at natutuwa sa binibigay mong inspirasyon sa amin. So, there you Thank go, Janetta. This ends it. Stay safe and hydrated. Virtual Thank hugs you. and kisses all the way from my office here in Cubao. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Janela. Mwah.